Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and I want to take a look at the upcoming names for the upcoming season, the 2024 hurricane season, the name Tropical Storms and Hurricanes, both in the Atlantic Basin, which includes the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, and even on the Eastern Pacific side. Right now, we're not seeing any signs of development. Sometimes in the off season, you do get some development out there. Now, if there were something to spin up through the end of the year, it would still be using this past season's list. Vince and Whitney are the two leftover names on the list. This is the 2023 list. Eastern Pacific side has a different set of names. Different areas around the world, different regions have a different set of names. Eastern Pacific season starts a little bit earlier. That starts May 15th. Like the Atlantic Basin side, it goes through the end of November, November 30th. No signs of development there. Now, not as many named storms on the Eastern Pacific side this past uh, season. The next name on the list, if there were to be a storm that develops through the end of the year, which is highly unlikely, would be Selma. But again, the new list, even though the hurricane season doesn't start until uh, the middle of next year, kicks in immediately uh, once we work our way into the new year. Now, once we get into May, sometimes you get a name system or two. We've seen that. May has become historically a little more active. June through the end of November is the uh, hurricane season uh, with the peak of it right around September 10th, September 11th. A lot of the action in the hurricane season happens in August, September, and October. This is the name for the Atlantic Basin side, Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, for the upcoming 2024 season. It'll start with Alberto, then Beryl, Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, Francine, and Gordon. Hopefully we don't get too far down the list. Uh, Helene, Isaac, Joyce, Kirk, Leslie, Milton, and Nadine, and maybe you can find your name on the list. And if it's a very active season, we'll be using some of these names, Sarah, Tony, Valerie, uh, ending on William. Now, uh, as we get a look at the other side, as we swing back toward the Eastern Pacific side, the 2024 names start with Aletta, then Bud, uh, Carlotta, Daniel, Amelia, Fly uh, Fabio and uh, Gilma, uh, Ileana, Lane, a couple of the names on the list, Miriam. Uh, as we get down the list, uh, Rosa, Sergio, Tara, uh, Vicente, and Wilma. So different set of names. So sometimes you may hear a name and you're like, wait, that's out of order. That's not the next uh, one in the alphabet. That's because, again, I may be looking at both sides with you. So there are the names. Let me show you what's going on right now. And I want to broaden out the picture to show you the next front across the U.S. that will start to work in for a lot of us. Spotty showers possible uh, today. Rain chance in the Caribbean is going to be picking up towards Central America the next few days. Not super widespread, but Belize, Honduras, even over toward Cancun, we could get a couple passing showers. Nicaragua, we're going to see a better chance of rain. Spotty showers possible in Jamaica. Not all of us are going to get it, but today into tomorrow, you could see some rain around. You see Honduras, Nicaragua, there's that better chance I was talking about hit or miss Eastern Caribbean. The rain chance has trended down, but Guyana and Suriname, we're going to see each day kind of that flare up of some rain and storms. And then I'll be watching the Gulf of Mexico. So let me expand out that view as promised as we get closer to Christmas. And you see uh, what we've got over time bringing you out. I just want to kind of bring you out in time and then stop it here. This is by Friday, middle of the U.S. A system developing. It will get a, a kick from a front that'll move in. And you see in the Gulf of Mexico, by the time we get into this weekend just ahead of Christmas, there will be uh, some extra rain and then it gets tied into a front as we work our way into Christmas Eve. This would be uh, 7 p.m. on our Sunday, Christmas Eve. There's the front across the United States draped down toward the Gulf of Mexico and it will eventually enhance the chance of rain over toward uh, Florida, parts of the Bahamas, Cuba, uh, parts of the Yucatan of Mexico and Belize. So I'm going to monitor this and then another big system rolling in and as these progress, especially as we get into January, some of these will dive down across parts of the Caribbean. I will be tracking that for you. Trinidad and Tobago, rain chance about 30 to 40% the next few days, a 30 to 40% chance in Grenada. 30% chance St. Vincent and the Grenadines, about a 30 to 40% chance in Barbados. Some spotty showers will be possible. Some of us have already had some around this morning. Rain chance will pick up a little bit tomorrow and Saturday across St. Lucia. We're going to have about a 40% chance. The next couple days in Martinique, a 30% chance. Get back toward Dominica. It's been mainly dry. Small chance of rain 
small chance of rain in Guadalupe, small chance of rain Antigua and Barbuda. Rain chance holding at 10 to 20 percent. St. Kitts, Nevis and Montserrat. A 20 percent chance today in Anguilla and St. Bart's and that 10 percent chance St. Martin, Saba and Stacia. Rain chance elevated at Puerto Rico, not a washout, but scattered showers around and we could get a couple U.S. And British Virgin Islands, a 30 to 40% chance, 40% chance the next couple days, the Dominican Republic, where we've had some of that rain around. Haiti, about a 30% chance today. Uh, if you don't get any uh, today, uh, that rain chance only goes down from here on out. Turks and Caicos, limited chance. A 40% chance in Jamaica, I showed you on that computer model, the scattered showers that will be possible. A 30% chance the next few days across the Cayman Islands for us. Bahamas, 10 to 20% chance, 10 to 20% chance as we get back through uh, Cuba. A 50% chance of rain though in Belize. I was showing you Belize, uh, parts of Mexico, Honduras, Nicaragua with that rain chance picking up. 40% chance by the uh, Yucatan. 30% chance in Aruba. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. It's not a guarantee, but the rain chance just a little higher today. I upped it just a touch, about a 30% chance. Bermuda tomorrow and Saturday, very limited rain chance. 30 to 40% chance of Across Costa Rica. More of it's going to be just to the north. Guyana, though, Guyana and Suriname. Rain chance roughly about 50%. So watching out for some areas of isolated flooding. 20% chance in northern Venezuela. So with that said, Central America, the rain chance will be going up, even watching some of the extra showers near the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Watching that system developing across the United States, moving into the Gulf of Mexico this weekend. And I'll monitor for any off season spins out there. Uh, sometimes you get a subtropical storm that does develop uh, in the off season. So I'll watch out for that. And I'm always monitoring those earthquakes. Thanks for sharing this channel. Hope you have a good rest of your day.